Thank you again. I really, really appreciate it. Thanks for the raid. And uh, you said you're going climbing? Hell yeah. Enjoy. I hope it is good. I'm. Oh my god, I'm so tangled. Have fun. Good luck on that V6. Alright. Let me actually get get set up here. Okay, we got that cable there. This goes behind me. It's driving me nuts. And then we got the controller. Here we are. Excellent. We can go ahead and turn this off. Welcome in, everybody. I hope everyone's having a nice day or night, whatever your time zone. Apologies that I'm still getting this all ready to go here, but I think we're good. I think we're ready. Go ahead and launch. Hey, Pyro. Welcome in. How are you doing? I have to, I have to pull the, the tea out of my teapot, too? <laughs> there we go. Can't have it be oversteeped. We can't tolerate oversteep tea here. All right. Game is booted. There it goes. Perfect. Love to see it. I, like, realized about 30 seconds left on the timer that uh, the cable that I used for my PS4, which is the only one that I have that'll actually work, was, like, in the next room. And so just like, oh, God, get the cable. Oh, come back. Get the tea. And then the raid. Very exciting. What a good start. All right. I am eager to figure out what's going on in this game. Uh, it took a very different turn the last time that we played. Um, I've learned that once again, I pronounce everything wrong. So just, just sorry. <laughs> That's just how it's going to be. Uh, didn't we finish this? Sorry, mom. You scared us to death, honey. Sorry, mom. We'll come pick you up. No, it's cool. I'm going to sleep here. Yeah, I finished this part. Yeah, so I was always saying bae. I, like, like, you're my bae. But it's B for Beatrice. Y you know what? The, I'm, I'm dyslexic. Y'all just have to cut me some slack when it comes to pronunciations. It's just, that's just what this stream's going to be. <laughs> it's a, a pun. But I'm... All right. Bay is here. Am I still gonna call her Bay? That's the other question. Now that I know I'm wrong. I'll be back in the morning. Have B drive you home. I will. It's gonna be hard for me to get used to that. May? I think that's the other thing, is that I kept hearing May, and so I was like, Bay. Yeah. May and Bay. It's adorable. But Pyro, how are you doing? How are things? Give us a call if you need to come home. I will. Love you, Mom. Love you, sweetie. You know what else I'm gonna do? I'm gonna fix this really quick. There we go. Hey, Greg. Hey, man. Dude, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, I guess so. Not really. I was like really worried. You were correct to worry. It was bad. Yeah. Don't ever get seriously injured again, okay? What even was that game? Werewolf Shred the Gnar 3. Wow, I haven't played... I played that at Casey's house, like, years ago. I played it yesterday at home. Cool. It's so full of histamines. Oh, no. Is there signal here? Wi-Fi. Ah, uh, Okay. I got, like, a mental map of all the Wi-Fi spots in town. What is it with Possum Springs and no signal? Eh, out here in the hills, 
and we're not big enough to get towers or something. Huh. Hey. Yeah? If we're all still alive or whatever, we should, like, maybe hang out more. I kind of thought you found me really annoying. Eh. I'll take it. I picked up a different over-the-counter meds today. I hope the switch helps. Is it for, like, fall or uh, seasonal allergies? Because that sounds miserable. But I hope it clears up for you. Um, yeah, we've already done this part of the game, so I'm gonna say, can we hit the- I'll hit the sack. Sure, dude. Hey, everybody go to bed now! Holy crap. See you all tomorrow. Are you sure it's safe for you to leave? None of this has anything to do with me. No weirdos following me around. <laughs> all right. See ya. Bye, germ. Hey. Hey, Greg. You awake? Yeah. Do you know why I beat down Andy Cullen six years ago? Back then you said you went all crazy, but like, that's not really a reason, I guess. I was playing that game where you, like, dated ghosts? I remember that one. Had a hot skeleton. Alistair or something like that. <laughs> yeah. You were crushing hard on those dank bones. I was playing it like 24-7 until this one afternoon and suddenly, like, something broke. It was just like, pixels. Your computer broke? No, like, reality broke. The characters on screen, like, I'd, I'd felt like I knew them, but they weren't people anymore. They were just shapes. And their lines were just things someone had written. They never existed. They never had feelings. They never would exist either. And it felt so sad, like I just lost these real people. And this whole thing we had, it was just me, alone. And, like, that realization, like, dumped out of the screen and into real life. I went outside in the tree out front. I looked at it every day. It was like a friend outside the window. Now it was just a thing. Just a thing that was there. Growing and eating and just being there. Like, all the stuff I felt about the tree was just in my head. And there was some guy walking by, and he was just shapes. Just like this moving bulk of stuff. And I cried. Because nothing was there for me anymore. It was all just stuff. Stuff in the universe. Just dead. Dude, why didn't you tell me? I don't know. What could I have said? This all happened, like, the day before that softball game. I mean, I was there in the stands. I watched you do it. I was so scared for you. And when Andy stepped up, it was like... It was like he was just shapes, too. Just some lines someone wrote. Nothing, like, nothing in there. And I was so scared and angry and just, I don't know. Before I knew it, I was on top of him. Smashing his face in with the bat. Just shapes. Red shapes all over the grass. There wasn't that much blood. Oh, God. I made him bleed all over the place, Greg. I wonder if he, like, wondered why. What he'd done. He was probably an asshole. No, dude, I didn't even know him. Neither did you. Well, then you had to go to therapy. Yeah, Dr. Hank and his journaling. Dr. Hank's messed up one of my tooth fillings. Yeah, he's not good at what he does. I, Which I, I guess is understandable because he does everything. I meant to ask you, did that journaling shit, did it actually work? Kind of, sort of? It helps me, like, grab onto things and keep them in one place. Whoa. But since that whole thing happened back then, when I'm alone in a new place, it's all shapes. Like back at softball game. I was doing fine at college for a while. College is for losers. Dude, listen, okay? Sorry. I couldn't make friends. I was just afraid of being outside or around people alone. And there was this statue of, like, the founder of something. A really shitty statue. Like, all rusty metal. And it was these shapes... And he was pointing down at me, and I was so scared. I didn't leave my room. I either didn't eat or I ate entire pizzas at once. I downed cough syrup just, just to sleep all the time. Dude. 
I finally got the courage to leave and came home where everything was fine, where I knew everyone and it was just dead shapes watching me. Jeez, dude. Something broke in my head, in my life. Dude, you could have called me. We could have come and rescued you. Like, would have kidnapped you. I couldn't call home either. I couldn't even talk to anyone. I don't even know why. I didn't even come home for the longest night. I just stayed in my room, in bed. That's... that's horrible, dude. I thought when I came home, I just... I felt so safe here, and everything made sense for a few days. And then all this, and... 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 Dude, dude, shh. You're gonna be okay. I'm so scared, Greg. I know, I know, dude. We're all freaked out right now. You need to sleep. I'll be here all night. I... Bye, guys. Love you. I think this is where we stopped for the previous stream, so now we're- now it's new stuff. Yeah. Am I going the right way? I- I guess so, I can't go back. Okay. Oh, hey there, Mr. Murder Man. What are you? Are you actually a ghost or just some guy? What's this thing in my head? Are you doing this? Why is this happening to me? Talk. Fine, let's do this. Whoa. Whoa! Nice shot. I wasn't aiming for his shoulder. Ugh, you eff effing shot me! Hey, asshole, get away from her. Three of us, one of you. And one of us got bolts sticking out of us. I'm gonna... Yeesh. Uh. You okay, dude? Where are dude? Hey, jerk. Why the hell are you out here by yourself? I had a dream. You were all dead out here in the woods, and it was because of me. What does that even mean? Since when are you when are your bad dreams in charge of me? I don't know anymore. Dude. Dude. You don't get to do this, okay? I don't get everything that's going on with you. And I'm not saying it's not happening. I believe you, okay? I do. But you don't get to die on me. You're not gonna do that to me, okay? But dude, I... I'm not gonna lose you, okay? You can't make me lose you. Uh, would you let me go like this? That's cheating. We've been best friends since forever, you big dumb idiot. And even if this was somehow all in your head, which it isn't, I would still back you. To the actual God's honest end. Jeez, me too. Clearly. Clearly we all would be. I shot a dude for you, come on. And if we keep talking like this, I'm gonna cry and... Greg... <laughs> Thank you. Well, he's wounded. Sounded like he went back up to the mine. Yeah, what do we do? Follow him, I guess. You all wait here, I'll go. <laughs> no, I have to go alone. They're not- they're not gonna buy it. Anyway. Yeah, anyways. 
If he's up there in the mine, we might be able to corner him and tie him up or something. Can you walk, May? I think so. Might be a little slow. I'll help you if you need it. Thanks, big guy. All right, let's go die or something, but hopefully not. Man, maybe the end of the game is, like, now. <laughs> Gate's open. Oh, jeez. What? We could, like, block it shut or something? Oh, dang, you're right. He, it, whatever, it's, it's in there. I have to go down there. Well then. Looks like all of his friends are gone. Just one guy. Just one guy. Just one something. Bang bang. Pour some tea. Oh, spooky. I don't think we get to complain about spooky. We left our precious robot boy out in the woods. That's spooky. Not, nah, dude. We created a legend. What are you two even talking about? It's been a weird few days. Sound of the breath is unsettling. It's like he took the elevator down. So much for this element of surprise. He's gonna hear us coming a mile away. We sure we want to do this? Yeah, May, you sure? Guys, I don't underst- I don't know if you understand. He's in my head. I can't function like this. Everything is dying or dead already. I don't know what's gonna happen down there. All right, then. Down we go. Oh, that thing looks old. They haven't used a mine... Uh, used this mine in, like, a lot of years. Oh. Generations, even. Are you our tour guide now? We have the Possum Springs tourism pamphlets at the shop, and I get bored. This is in the brochure. Well, here we are. May, you okay? I have my inhaler. No, I'm fine. It's just like, it's something huge is on top of me. I mean, technically you're not wrong. Is it like asthma? That's how asthma is. It's not asthma, big guy. But thanks. Shush, I heard something. Down there. You gonna be okay, May? Yeah, I'm alright. We should be quiet. Yeah, we'll be silent terrors. We'll be ghosts. Oh, this is so cool. Door. Door. Tunnel. Whatever. Here we go. Aw, oh, jeez. What is this place? Looks like a church or something. And, like, junk. Oh god, oh god. What is it? It's here. It's here. Oh god. What is it? I don't know, but it's here. It's through here.
I know you're in here. Say something. Well, how about this? Take a couple more steps forward if you want to die. Show yourself. Yeah, asshole. Like five times scarier than you. <gasps> there they are! Right there! I'm gonna kill them! Eid. I think it's Eid? Uh, you'll do no such thing. It's out of your hands now. He shot me! Then I'd say we're even. The little girl got shot the other night. Yeah, sorry about that. You're apologizing? It was a bad call, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay? It didn't actually hit me, so- wait, what the- who are you? Bunch of old boys doing their damnedest to protect their own and their neighbors. Then why are you trying to kill me? Kill you? No one's gonna kill you. All of you are part of this town. By family relation or just being hard workers. Contributors. Uh, okay. So we could just leave? Well, he brought you down here for a reason. And he's not gonna let you leave until he's had his say. Well, he's already got an arrow through the shoulder. I don't think he's gonna be having much say in whatever. Wait, so you think that... He kidnapped that kid at the harvest? He's, he's been in my head somehow. I'm always tired, constant headaches. He's been following me, following all of us. He... Oh, little girl. You don't know what this is, do you? What? Oh god. I've seen this. Or I've felt it. It was Ed Scudder and Jim Dorney who found it. Twenty years back or so. After the West Mile closed out of past brittle. Best Schumer, last supervisor. Uh, best? Schman... Schmancher? Was out there when the company locked off the entrance. Carved his initials and date on the door. You got this mine, the old one. Not even a proper mine, big hole, copper. Abandoned, shot, long before any of us were born. Too close to the water, and that water was poison. When the first settlers came out here, that old spring used to be right above where we're standing. But that water dried up. 1992 or so, some men went from West Mine, come back up here to try bootlegging. Practically built a new elevator, Got the main tunnel cleared. Never found no coal, just dug deeper and deeper. Till Ed bursts through that wall and he finds this place. And Jim walks right into that hole. And never hits the bottom. Ed calls down to Jim. Jim doesn't answer. But someone else does. I know you heard that voice, girl. In dreams, in waking times. Saw it brought you down here. What is it? Black goat. Not even black like the color. Black like the space between the stars. He's down there in that hole, looking up at us right now. He don't talk to you. He sings. Why would you just do something a hole in a cave told you to do? You gotta understand. In those days, it was the end of the world. Jobs gone, our kids were leaving. Government didn't care, only wanted our votes, just putting in more regulations, sending our jobs overseas, spending our taxes on lazy people and immigrants, while we worked ourselves to death. Ugh, here we go. Goddamn, I hate this crap, you old dipshits. You finished? Yeah, sure. We prayed and prayed up at the church, but when Ed Scudder came back down here and listened, he got answers back. Oh god, I think I know. Yeah, he's already there singing to you, right? I... Ed explained it to a few folks, and they didn't believe it. He was- but he was persuasive. He had the glimmer. The glimmer? 
The ones E to take a shining to rubs off on you. You can do things. I've never seen it. But they said Ed could walk through walls. Okay. After Ed talked to us all, uh, talked us into all this, after that first time, after we picked one out, well, not only was the town holding stable, but it was almost like we were getting younger and money came too. Still a few of us from back then. Picked. First one was Tom Turner, uh, who believe you me was a bastard. Just pure trash. We got him down here. And in the hole he went. The next week, flowers blooming all over the hills. You throw them in the hole? They're feeding him. He's hungry like you wouldn't believe. Every few months or so, he starts singing. And it's someone's turn to find someone. Was that what you were doing the other night? No. What happened the other night was a shame. One of our number... Uh, one of our number broke the rules and had to pay up. That was a hard thing to do. I think I'm gonna be sick. We never pick none that's gonna be missed. That's a solid rule. Drifters, drunks, and delinquents. You've been... Oh god, oh no. Casey? That Hartley kid? All he was gonna contribute to society except a bunch of kids grown up with no dad was a rap sheet and a mile long before whatever said um whatever sad end he'd wind up at we did him a favor you killed casey oh my god we don't use that word you know he was taking up business with uh his cousin right you know what happened to his cousin burned alive when his little trailer lab exploded. They had to wear hazmat suits when they cleaned him up. That's where Casey was headed. You killed Casey. And you want to act like we didn't do him and his whole town a favor? Oh god, Casey's been down here this whole time. His parents put up posters. Maybe they should have cared more about uh, him before he came to this. Which one of you did it? Greg. He was my friend. Alright now, throw it down right now or I'll shoot. What if I get you first? Bolt sticking right out of your eye. Bang. Bang. You brought guns down here? Dangerous this far out in the woods at night. Basic safety. I... I... Throw it down, son. Don't make this... Uh, don't make this our time. Greg... Dang it. You're monsters. None of this. None of this is happening. What? Oh my god. This is- this is crazy. I didn't expect this. <laughs> we are not monsters. We did it because we love our home. As long as we keep doing this, Possum Springs survives. Things can get better. These mines are gonna be humming again someday. Old mines, puffin' smoke. You kids don't understand that. We lost what our world was built around. Used to be you provided for a family, bought a house. Now you're stocking shelves at the grocery store. Kids leaving more than they're staying. No opportunity here. Old people dying, houses left empty. You ever see that? A home become one of tumbled in pile of wood and plaster? A job become a burned out brick box or a hole in the ground? But we can change that. We can put this place back together. Where it won't be. Just shapes. I'm gonna die down here. Why are you telling us all this? Because we're getting old. And even with the fringe benefit of good health, we need new blood to carry this on when we're gone. Really? You're like pitching us on this? Were any of you even miners back in the day? 
any of you hurting now financially? Like, or is this just some big costume murder club? For someone's shitty boss who's afraid of dying? That don't matter. It does. This is real bad. This is insane. Why should we help you? Because if no one is here to do this, you remember that flood a few years back? You remember the blizzard of 2010? That's what happens. And beyond that, the jobs never come back. The kids never come back. Everything crumbles. Possum Springs bleeds to death. And soon we'll be all dead. Soon we'll all be dead. And this town will just be fields and trees. I've seen it. I know you have. I'll understand if you need to uh, need some time to think it over. So we can leave? No one's gonna stop you. But I understand that you don't know who we are out here. But we know who you all are. Ain't fair. Uh, they get to leave and I probably got permanent damage. Shut up, Eddie. You don't know a thing about what he wants, what he is. Is it Eddie? Maybe it is Eddie. Eddie, I swear to God. Let's go. Yeah, seriously, let's get out of here. Son, you can leave that crossbow. What? Why? Well, I could bullshit you, but the truth is I just don't trust you. Fine, whatever. It's a piece of shit anyways. I can't move, you guys. I'll carry you. That's the kind of friend you need. Someone who will carry you out of a murder cult. My brain is in pieces right now. It's just... It's all just empty. Everything's empty. What are we gonna do? We'll crack that one when we're far away from here. I don't know if I... Shh. Talk later. Old, old stuff in here. We made it out alive! I wasn't 100% convinced that May was gonna make it out of there alive. Okay, I'm gonna have to put you down for a sec, okay? Okay. So, Casey. Yeah. Yeah. And for what? I think I get it. Wow, really? Too tired to explain it right, but, like... They lost what they thought was gonna happen. Which was what had happened a long time ago. Or how they remember... Uh, or like picture it and then it things and then <laughs> and things it gave gave them and so Casey and that kid at Harfest and sorry I lost it that's more sense than I can make of it they're sad they're all really sad you ready to go Angus yep sorry wait everyone shut up what I thought Whoa Kick 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 keep kicking keep kicking keep kicking <gasps> Whoa Oh shit. Holy god. Is everyone okay? May, May. May, say something. Ha. <laughs> oh, why are we laughing? Ha. <sighs> uh. Dude, it's okay now. We messed that guy up and he's not climb he's not coming back. You're gonna walk out of this. So how are we getting out of here? Shh, let me rest. This is a bad place to rest. <laughs> We're in a collapsing mine. I feel air coming in from somewhere. We're so not gonna suffocate. Well, that's a relief. How do you I was a scout, Greg. 
I was a scout. Hey, Angus. Yeah? I love you. Aww. Welcome back, May. You okay? Better now that I almost got murdered again, which is weird. That was like third time in two days? Third time's the charm. Guys, the air is coming from back here. Alright, I'm up. Are you sure? Yeah, I think I can walk at least. Uh, it's boarded up a long time ago. Can we get through? Let's find out. I'm gonna close my door one second. Okay, hello. Let's get out of here. Oh, maybe get the... Yeah, everybody helping! Yeah, some fresh air, alright. And water. Dude, that's amazing. You can smell water? Hopefully it's not a river. Rivers can be death- cave rivers can be death traps. Mine river. We're in a mine. Right. That's... Not- all so bad. All so bad. Water in mine is bad. Hmm. I can see the bottom. I don't think we're gonna die in the one foot of water, right? I know what you are now. I think I knew before, but you know, after I sent that kid to the hospital years ago, they said I had an anger problem, but that's not true. I was angry because of something else, something I'd lost, trying so hard since not to be angry. Got me all defenseless, and I lost more and more and more. That's not getting better. I want to be angry. When I ran home from college on the bus, I had this dream, or maybe I saw it out the window. Last leaf on the tree. Finally blown off, I'm so scared. All the time. And the fear hurts. Feeling like everything is over. Was over long before I got here. So long hiding? Or trying to outrun this? I get it. It won't stop until I die. But when I die, I want it to hurt. When my friends leave, when I have to let go, when this entire town is wiped off the map, I want it to hurt. Bad. I want to lose. I want to get beaten up. I want to hold on until I'm thrown off and everything ends. And you know what? Until that happens, I want to hope again. And I want it to hurt. Because that means it meant something. It means I am something, at least. Huh. It's pretty amazing to be something, at least. You know I can't understand you, right? Oh, shut up already. I know this won't save me in the end, but I don't need it to save me forever. I just need it to save me now. So if you're gonna kill me right here, then do it. If not... May! Dude, are you okay? Whoa. You got all sleepy-walky there for a second. You want me to carry you? No, I think I'm good. I just... Very, very tired. Hang here for a bit if you need to. We're safe. Uh-huh. Hey, there's light over here. Did you smell that? I bet he did. What is this? Might be a vent or something. Keep the miners from suffocating way back when. Looks old enough, at least. 
brochure. <laughs> Hello, we're down here. Don't ask us why, please. Could get lucky. <laughs> Could get lucky and someone's out here in the woods at night. I I can try to make it out. No, I can like Okay, yeah, are you up for this? Yeah. I don't know. I'm like all hyper now. Like like dolphins? Like hyper dolphins? No, like when your body is uh whoa, I almost died and you get all hyper because you're filled with do uh, dolphins. I'm seriously confused. Are you okay, May? Endorphins. Ah, okay. There, thank you, those. Okay, well, ride those dolphins up out of here. Uh, that's assuming I can even do this. Oh, we'll watch. Okay. I have my jump ability back. Up we go. I like the music there. That was cool. This place, huh? Hey, May. Germ? Yeah. What are you doing out here? I live right up the hill. I heard Greg yelling. We're all stuck down there. You were at the bottom of the old well in my backyard? It's been a really bad night. Sounds like it. Got any rope or something? Yeah. Can you go get it? <laughs> hey, May. Yeah? Was that Germ? Yeah, he's getting some rope. What is he doing out here? He lives here. In the woods? <laughs> oh, my whole body hurts. That was a long way. I brought some sodas. You're the best, Germ. You need the sugar and caffeine. I need the sugar and caffeine. Some caffeine here. Um, anyone else want to get far away from this well? Yup. Germ, can you like, I don't know, seal up this well? Hmm. I got dynamite. What? Yeah, I mean, I can get some... How big an explosion is that? I mean, not small. All right, that works. Thanks, Germ. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Uh, okay, bye, guys. There goes a weird, weird guy. He saved our lives. Germ is good. Germ is a good man. It sh strikes me that we just murdered all those dudes down there. How do you figure? Well, I mean, the elevator's broken and we caused a cave-in. That was self-defense! I guess, but we did cause the deaths of like a dozen guys. No, 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 they're all still alive down there. Oh god. Yeah. Jeez. Oh well, we're blameless. They attacked us. One of them attacked us. So we're worrying about, like, it's morally gray. We're not murderers. Like, if we had a choice, we wouldn't have done it. I would have. <laughs> um, what? They, like, killed people. They were trying to get us to kill people. Screw them. I don't even believe in hell, and I hope they all go straight there. Jeez, Angus. Well, that's what I think, at least. Huh, is this like that trolley thing? What trolley thing? Okay, I'll explain it if we keep walking. Hey guys, uh, are you still there? Anyone? Okay, I'm gonna type anyways. Hard for me to say anything smart about what the hell even just happened. Easier for me to get it all out here. And I need to talk. Even if you jerks are off doing whatever. I 
don't even understand life. I think you get taught that you could have a lot more control of the world than you do. I just walked into all this horrible stuff that was already happening. We all did. And I guess that's really scary. Like, who knows what's gonna happen? But I guess you can connect things? Or connect two things? Something... Sometimes you need someone to be the thing you don't have. Even if it's something you're supposed to already have. All of you are what kept me from floating off tonight. Also, you kind of killed that guy to save me. Uh, don't think I didn't appreciate that. Am I ever going to ha uh, have a handle on what just happened? I kind of hope not. I just hope it's not over. I want us to get free of it all. I don't want us to just be part of some horrible story. I want to, like, grow giant and pick you all up and carry you someplace safe. Sorry, I'm rambling now. I just gotta believe that there's ways to escape. Or at least move on. Germ, buddy. Germ, you don't even use Messenger. I guess I'm just typing at whatever, wherever you're at. I think I pretty much love Greg more than anyone ever. I don't know if better friends exist. We're like old shoes that go together. I'm sorry if I cause drama between you and Angus, man. Angus, I give you Greg as a gift. Remember to water and feed him. If you ever hurt him, I will kick your ass into the ground. He was mine first. Yep, there it is. Now I'm just gonna er, go erase all that. Oh, shit. Uh, guys, I was kidding about a lot of that. I'm really tired. I don't know what I'm saying. Log off, May. Log off. First thing we do upon waking up, we gotta check our phone. Boy message, it's good to be alive this morning, that's all. Hey man. Nice messages last night. I mean like, really. You massive dork. Band practice today. Because I feel like we need to do something normal. I'm at the snack snalkin. Hope you're feeling okay. Sincerely, Gregory. Hey May. You okay this morning? I'm not opening the Pixax today. Greg informs me we're doing band practice, though. I'll see you there. We could play Doom Tower for, like, a whole hour. I won't, I won't put us through that, but the option is there. Could play some bass. Any of these? Nah. Uh, later. I don't really epilogue. I don't really want to um, suffer through those really difficult songs again. Oh, we never figured out the the code for the safe. There's gotta be a way to open it. I want to know. I feel like there was more that must happen on this floor? Nope. Bird. get in there. May, honey, is that you? Yeah. I'm back in the kitchen. If you want to talk. Yeah, let's go talk.
Hey, sweetie. Hey, mom. How are you feeling? Good enough to jump up here. Can you do me a favor and stay home tonight? Sure, mom. I, you're, you're an adult. You can do whatever you want. But you do live here, and you are still my baby. Aw. We need to come up with some ground rules. Just because... Honey, you could have died the other night. And then you just left to hang out with your friends? I... I'm so sorry, Mom. Sweetie, what's going on with you? I've had a really tough year. Hon, you've had a tough week. We all have. Yeah, but... What happened at school, hon? I don't care what it is. Just please, tell me. Are you working today? No, me and your father are both off today. I'll be around tonight. We can talk- can we talk about it then? Sure. We can make breakfast for dinner like we used to. Dad can flip pancakes in the air. Haha, <laughs> for sure. Are you going out today? Yeah. Can you please stay in town? Close? Yeah, Mom. I think they're getting some of the longest night dec uh, decorations out. Oh, wow. Calling for some snow, too. That went fast. What did? The fall. Always does, hun. Okay. Well, I'm off. Love you, sweetie. Love you too, mom. Alright, let's go to band practice. Hey, dad. No work today? I told Bob to shove it. Really? No. You okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I hate my job. Aw, oh, dad, why? I've mined, I've made glass, I've done a heap of other stuff, but this place, they just don't respect you for working. They don't? Job's supposed to pay enough to live. Job's supposed to let you provide for your family. Job's supposed to have regular hours. Boss is supposed to respect you. Worker's supposed to be able to ask. Worker's supposed to be able to have a life. Worker's supposed to be able to live. Your mom always had to work, but I wanted to give you uh, and her your time. Always. I, I wanted her to have hobbies, and enough time and money to do them. That's what made me happy. Now I just work so I can keep our health insurance. And hold on to the house, try to at least. Is there anything... Um... Anything you can do? I mean, we do need a union, it's just easier, easier to say it than get it done. Unions were always there in the mines and the factory, at least for a while, but here? Listen, I'm gonna be around tonight for dinner. Wow, what's the occasion? Mom said we could cook, uh, we could make breakfast. Ooh, sounds good. I was gonna talk about some stuff. Okay. Maybe we can talk about your stuff too. Just one big, uh, stuff session. That sounds great, kitten. Love you, dad. Love you too. Back later. What are you doing out here, by the way? I was getting an early start on our longest night lights plan. I'm gonna dig them out of the closet, see if they even work still. Can I help put them up? We'll see. You're a small fry. Dad. Okay. I was wondering if you would tell us about the... About the... Safe. Hey, what are you doing here? I'm working, May. Sure. What's wrong? Don't ask. Got a lot of weird calls this morning. Oh. Question. You haven't seen... Never mind. Go do whatever you're gonna do. Okay, fine, I will. May? Spit it out already. Be careful. Just be careful. Aw, oh, jeez. Until now, I never considered that. May! Okay, fine. Thanks, bye. doesn't really answer the question, Colleen. That very much does answer the question. About the amount of rock- the amount of rock salt isn't the problem. We don't have enough damn trucks for this thing. Cars slip sliding all up and down the goddamn hill, Colleen. Half tempted to just close the road when the storm hits. Oh yeah, good. Let's just give up. It's not giving up, Colleen. I'm sick of you undermining me. It's a bad idea. It's not undermining. It's undermining. 
I'm on Colleen's side on this one. Well, that's just great. That's just peachy pie, ain't it? Okay, fine. We'll just close all the roads. Close down the whole damn town. Your ideas are always the most important. The most thought out. Raccoon! Ah, raccoon! So I'm gonna split part-time? Do they not have the hours? It's a huge store. How do they not have the hours? They got a computer program. It's all hooked up. It's some kind of mainframe or something. It spits out the optimum schedule for all of the employees. Manager can't do much about it. Computer don't play favorites. Yeah, I guess can't argue with a computer. Did Nancy give you hell? Nah, she did laugh though. I laughed too. We still gonna do that movie? Yeah, let's find a night that we're all off. I'm off Tuesdays. I'm off Sundays. Thursdays, my only night off. I thought the pickaxe was closed. Hey, it's you! Yep. For now, at least. You know, I never got your name. I'm the janitor. I clean up, do fix it. Whatever needs done. Oh, uh, okay. So, what's it been like being home again? Things like you remember him? No. I don't know. I don't even remember today. Sounds like you've been through something. How did you know? Call it experience. I swear, some mornings I felt every bit as old as these trees. You know, something big did happen, and I feel like I should have woken up today and, like, have learned something, but I don't know if I learned anything, really. Well, in my experience, the big things don't teach you anything, but they make you something. And sometimes you gotta wait a while to see what comes of it. Huh. Oh! Uh, done an honest day's work. Quitting time. Smelter's game tonight. See you around. Not if I see you first, May. Haha. Ha ha ha. Wait, how do you know my name? Mr. Janitor. Lord Janitor. Well, fall sure is ending. Sure looks that way. i uh, never seen you around here before. I spend a lot of time indoors, but it's nice to take a break. And I like the cold. It's brisk today. Brisk. Sometimes I stand in the cold with my arms out and let a gust of wind pass over me. It chills me out a bit. Like this? Yeah. Is it working? Yeah. It's cold. Maybe too cold. Yeah, you wouldn't want to be doing it for long. But then you can go get a coffee or hot chocolate or something. Ooh, hot chocolate sounds nice. The endless cycle of life. It's cozy. The endless cozy cycle of life. Jeez. I hadn't thought about how cold it was getting out here till you mentioned it. It's snowing. I know. Sorry. You don't have to apologize. I'm from Canada. I have to apologize. I'm gonna put my arms down now. That's probably a good idea. All the blood ran out of my arms. Okay. Numb arms. What? It's not here. Holy crap! Uh, ah, a taco place. This is the best thing ever happened this town since we got the internet. We're still using Cyberfish until like two years ago, because it's eternally two decades behind here. It takes you three days to tour in a movie. It takes you one day to load a GIF. Barbaric times. God. Life moves on, huh? 
Oh my god, they deliver! I'm gonna eat the shit out of some tacos. So you're a taco dude now? I mean, I was hired to be a taco artisan. But I guess that means holding the sign out in the snow. Not really, it's not really snowing that hard. It's snowing, there's snow in the sky, falling. How are the tacos here? Good, I like tacos. Uh, there's not one person on God's earth who doesn't love tacos. Bad news, my ex hates tacos. Good news, they're now your ex. Heh. <laughs> Have fun with the tacos. Eh, it pays. Taco buck, dine in, dine out, we deliver. Please tip your delivery persons. Best tacos in all the general region, pretty sure. Been missing the pizza place? Why not try a pizza taco? Oh wow, that sounds amazing. Watching your health? Try out our all lettuce taco. No, I refuse. Get out of here, kid. I'm working. I was wondering if we could like inquire about a job, because <laughs> that would have been that would have been a an interesting shift at the end of the game. I want to just check in here really quick and just see if there's anyone in here we want we can talk to. Hey, you guys. Yeah? Stay safe, all right? Wow, thanks, mom. Are you our new mom? Apparently. Life, man, it goes slowly. Nah, dude. Nah. Hey, Miss Rosa. Oh, hello, May. How are you feeling today? Oh, I feel the damp and the cold down here, but it's in my bones wherever I go, so no harm. Do you want to talk about Granddad? Oh, yes, where was I? Troublemakers in my family? Right. Back then, there were places that brought us all together, or at least brought us together in bits and bobs, you know, old smokes, smokies, the Grand Bears, the Lodge of Old, the church in the Union. There'd be dances up at the... Hebe. That's where I met your granddad. Oh, a lifetime ago. Was he like... What was he like back then? Plain in most respects. Prone to fits of melancholy. But funny and wild when the occasion called. Surprising, I guess is the word. Huh. What'd your daddy say about him? Distant, but trying? Sounds right. That sounds... You alright, Miss Rosa? Oh, yes. Let's talk another time. Okay. Hope you feel a bit better. Oh, May. Oh, dear May. One pretzel's enough for my tiny rat darlings. When winter come and water freeze here the fish can be at ease and the tunnel is not flooded ruin it's a home a place for doing sure that works please go away excellent got to talk to everybody this almost seems like not quite but it almost seems like a, a self-reflection about, like, depression. Like, definitely coming of age, like, growing up and then... ...realizing that life isn't all sunshine and roses that you thought it was. But... Can I not go up here? Guess not. We can't jump on top of the diner. What a sham. I actually really like that May said that she didn't really learn anything from this. That just like she feels a little bit different, but she doesn't feel like there was like, some overarching lesson. Because I feel like that's life a lot of the time. Well, look who's alive and well. Is that a surprise? Nah. It just seems, like, relevant. 
Oh, look who's a oh, look, oh, look who's live and well. You two, yeah, live and well. You two live live. Yeah. You want to get out of here? Do band practice? Yeah, let's do band practice. Ah, good tea. I like that tea. Geez, that door never gets less stuck. Worse when it's cold somehow. So ready for cold weather. Oh, I hate winter. Winter's actually good. Nobody here yet. Bunch of slackers. It's like they don't even want this band to succeed. <laughs> where would we be? Uh, where would we even play if we wanted to? Hmm, I have no idea. Uh, go play those Legion Hall shows in Fort Lucene. Wow, those were fun. We'd be the oldsters now. Yep. So, uh, you okay? I guess. I mean, as much as I can even tell today. Yeah. Huh, suspicious. Do you think those guys can get out of the mine? I guess we're gonna find out pretty quick. Did you notice anyone missing today? I don't know. But I don't think a lot of those guys were people I knew. Never can tell. Never can tell? This kind of thing happened to you often? Oh, all the time. So, like, I don't really... Uh, get what even happened down there with you and the whatever that was The cosmic horror. Yeah, that Um, it's old something older than I can think of and you can feel it inside and it's in a hole outside town Yes, no like the thing in the hole is Jeez, I lost it. It's okay. It's like It's like a porch light that's on and there's all the these bugs around it and then the light goes out and then there's a hole where the light was it's like what happened to me way back when i was telling you about um uh, about on the couch last night god that was last night seems like two weeks ago <laughs> yeah it's going to be weird when you're gone well i mean you've already been gone and you've been gone at least once since you got back. You're a goner. Like, last night feels... It feels sometimes like there's so much horrible past. And it's still here. Like you're swimming in it. And you can't have a future. Nah, brah. Nah, brah. That's it? What was our biggest crime ever? Almost burning down the school? Bringing a horrible robot son into the world? And then leaving him to haunt the woods out by the highway? Actually, it was probably trapping those dudes in the mine and leaving them to die. <laughs> that was self-defense! All that stuff, like... Today is different now because that happened. We're different. Yeah. So, like, things change, I guess. Like you said the other day in the woods, gonna be different because we're here. That's something. Something, something, something. I am surprised that we just left them all. Like, we didn't tell the police or anything. We were just like, these are bad people, so we're just gonna leave them. <laughs> leave them to die. They killed Casey. Yeah, they did. They killed Casey. I'm trying not to think about it. Do we, like, tell his parents? What do we tell them? I don't know. Is it worse to let them think he's alive? Or tell them that he's in a bottomless hole in a tunnel in the woods with a bunch of guys who are going to be dead soon. Um, we should tell them. Okay. You get to figure out what we say. I'll let you know if I ever come up with anything. Sounds good. I think it's important that we know at least. Makes it mean something? I don't know how to say it. I think we might be the uh, only things in the universe who care about anything, or c who even can care. Do you think of... Do you think any of this means anything? Or, like, meant anything? Hmm. Does it, Gregory? Hey. 
Hey, babies. Hey, hon. Babies? How was work? Jeez, I'm sore from, like, everything. I ran into, like, a zillion bushes the other night. Basically, my body hates me now. God, do some stretches. So, like, can I move to Bright Harbor with you guys? I was wondering that. I was like, well, why do we have to stay in this shitty town? Like, why can't we just go with them? Uh, um, I thought you, like, couldn't leave home. Eh, you guys are home enough. Or maybe I'll just visit for a while once you get settled in. Of course. Yeah, dude, that'd be rad. Hey, guys, yeah? Thanks for saving me last night. Like, repeatedly. Not even a problem, dude. We'll save you as many times as it takes. Hey, bae. B. Hey, B. Are you gonna say something? I don't really know what to say. What in the hell even happened last night? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. Oh, good. I was just, um... Oh, good. So I was just having the worst, weirdest nightmare ever. By the way, nice messages to wake up to. Oh, God, I was half asleep. Let's not talk about it. I think I twisted my ankle last night. Can we just, like, not talk about that night for the rest of, our, of the day? Uh, no promises. Can, can't we just play a song and get pizza and talk about this tomorrow? Sure. Whatever. We can all talk about it in therapy for years. That's the spirit. I mean, we have to, uh, we have to go on, right? Obviously the world is seriously screwed up, but we're all gonna die if we don't keep living. That's some bumper sticker shit right there. Hey, I know what I'm talking about. We gotta make plans. We gotta change things. We gotta play a goddamn song, get a goddamn pizza. So what are we playing? Aw, I guess we're not gonna, not gonna have that breakfast with, with the parents. What a lovely little game. I really liked it. I think this was really sweet. Um, I really liked all of the self-reflections and kind of like, what's our, what's our place? here in life, you know? Those kinds of questions that make you think. I don't have too much to really say about the game, like, in this moment, but I really enjoyed it. I really liked that it felt like there was a payoff with the reveal of the, uh, the mine. That felt really satisfying. Because it's like, I don't know, I, I, every game I've played recently has like a mine in it. <laughs> like, what, what were some of the other ones? There was Life is Strange, True Colors, that has a, a that, it's about a mine. Um, what was the other game I played recently? There was another one that had a mine. But... Yeah, this this felt like a really well thought out game. At first, the the art style I thought was a little odd, but after playing it more, I've decided that like it's it was really pretty. Especially the dream sequences were really lovely. And as much work as text-based games are on stream. I did have a lot of fun streaming this one, for sure. Kim, hello! Welcome in. We just, we just finished Night in the Woods. What a, what a nice little game. I'll probably write up a little bit more of a, a review on Discord once I've had some time to kind of sit with this. But I also kind of feel like... I don't, I, don't, I don't know, I just... I don't have too much more to say. What's next? That's a good question. Um, I 
I can take a quick look at my Steam library, because I was planning to stream longer tonight, so I might start something that I already have installed. Go from there. Um, I was planning on starting, like, Soma on my next stream, but that one will be harder to audio balance on the fly, so I might wait to start that. Um, but... Oh, Kim, I recommend this game. I think it would be up your alley. It's very... It's cute. It's got a good story. Um, I really liked it. <laughs> 